Hey everybody, this is Downware, and I have a question for you. What's more serious, cancer or a four-on-four -four random team audio commentary strategy thing? If you said cancer, WRONG! So anyway, uh, I was checking the member audio section again for another featured audio I can put for my plucked from obscurity thing that I came up with because I'm so smart, and uh... This guy called Knife Newbelf did a nice 4 on 4 random team audio commentary. Now you might be saying 4 on 4 random teams, that's bullshit. I don't want to watch that crap. Well, you know what? Fuck you. You don't have to. So if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. But I thought it was pretty entertaining and uh he pulls off a couple of slick moves and overall he seems like way way better than the average 4 on 4 random team retard that you see on BattleNet. So anyway, give it a chance, check it out. If there was one tip I was going to give Knife, give, uh, knife Newbelf, it would be make sure you say Tinker about 40 more times in the last few minutes. Because, you know, he definitely didn't say it enough. So anyway, uh, check this shit out. Here we go. Hey guys, Knife Newbelf here, bringing you a 4 vs 4 random team audio commentary. Let's get the replay paused at the uh, 30 second mark. Um, I've been playing 4v4 random team a lot, especially on Northrend. I think Northrend's a lot funner because it seems like 4v4 is not as frowned upon as it is on Azeroth. On Azeroth, the 4v4 players are kind of just like pissed on, but but on Northrend, they're kind of taken a little bit more seriously. They're not necessarily the bitch players that they are on Azeroth. They're still the noobs of the bunch, but they're not they're not just straight bitches like. Like Azeroth 4v4 four players probably feel. Uh, this is my account on on Northrend White Flag of War. Uh, it's from Futurama. If if you saw this one episode, Zap Brannigan's like, "Hurry, Kip, raise the White Flag of War," as they're about to fucking like go into a huge galactic battle, and he has like a white flag on his ship. So I thought that was funny and made it my name. Uh. So we know the map is friends. This is my favorite spawn point. You'll see why in a second, but first let's get the replay unpaused. Yellow's point of view, fog of war off. Let's get the replay unpaused in three, two, one, unpause. Okay, so this is definitely my favorite spawn point. You'll see why in a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna be going blood mage and I'm I'm gonna be doing some something that I I think I was the first one to do. I haven't seen anyone else do it. I think it's I think it's pretty pretty cool. Uh Oh, yeah. I also like to if you notice, I like to build a lumber mill quick. I do this because I like the ability to throw up towers at really any time I need them. On every map, I pretty much go a lumber mill really quick. For instance, on Northrend at least, there's a lot of AoE harassment like like I'm going to be doing in a second. But a lot of times I've had an Arc Mage or, or a Pit Lord or, or a Blood Mage or even a Blade Master just cripple my economy. And they just never let up the pressure. So so at that point, if I start to feel kind of like I'm pushed in a corner, if I start to feel like like my economy's really getting messed up, I'll just kind of just like nonchalantly just throw up like 20 towers just to tell the other team that, that I'm not going to be their bitch anymore. <laughs> and just to tell the other team they're going to come in my base and they're going to see that I'm, I'm not going to be harassed anymore. And then hopefully they'll move on to my better playing ally, who will hopefully do better than I previously did with the harassment. Uh, oh, also, if you look at Pink, he's going Blade Master, and he's going to be harassing, but this part I like, he he's not straight teching like a lot of orcs do. He's actually getting a couple grunts, and that's just in case they harass and also he shared control with me and he's gonna let me use those grunts so while he's harassing I have a bigger army uh, if you notice I just 
I just flame striked behind the mercenary camp. This is what I'm going to I'm going to do. And also I stepped away when I was done flame striking. This is in case like perhaps a blade master ran by it. He wouldn't just see me waiting to creep this. So I kind of backed up until I was ready to creep it. Okay, so I I dragged the creep so I can get a a more concentrated flame strike. It's always good to drag the creeps, especially with AOE, because they seem to uh, they kind of clump up once you drag them, and that's going to give you a lot stronger of a flame strike. Like this camp normally takes like two pretty strong players to creep, and I just did it with militia and a and a well placed flame strike. So uh, that was that was why I like this positioning on this map so much, because that's pretty much the best positioning you can have if you're planning on doing doing this strategy uh, so as you can see I'm level 2 I'm gonna pick up some mercs which are gonna help me creep this camp as well as well as the grunts so if you look at the other players they're all level 1 and I'm already level 2 and I'm gonna be creeping my level 3 my level 3 camp right now uh, also, if you look at Orange, look where he placed his lumber mill. I'd recommend not doing that because I think you're, for one, you're not going to have militia as readily available to you to help defend your base, and also they're going to be a lot. You're going to be a lot more vulnerable. Your peasants are because if you look at his, he didn't even put a tower up or up or anything. He's just assuming that we're kind of not going to see it which is always a bad idea <clears throat> okay so I'm level 3 so now I can really start to get aggressive I'm gonna be harassing him hard with this flame strike uh, pink pink has been harassing pretty hard kinda not letting them creep which is good considering I did some kinda risky maneuvers so yeah that's good he's kinda keeping them from from leveling up and kind of buying me time to level up and then and then my harassment's going to be a lot stronger. Okay, so here here Pink's going to join me his grunts. His grunts are going to help him harass a little and I'm going to go for Orange's workers. AoE harassment's really effective on this map because the two bases are so close together that you can actually go from if one player is clearly better than the other you can kind of go to the weaker player that's not as likely to move their workers as quick and you can get a lot of harassment done I'm lucky here orange was kind of preoccupied with creeping so I end up getting all five all five peasants plus plus his woodworkers so that's five I just got six I believe I get seven and I I noticed right away he only has three three workers gathering wood so I know right away that's not gonna be his main source of of wood income so I'm I'm pretty much assuming that he he did the new lumber mill so I'm gonna go check and he did and he has no towers so that's good for me I can get some more some more peasant kills and I can hopefully teach him never ever to build his lumber mill here again. I should look up replays and make sure <laughs> just to just to teach him that that every time he does he'll just get all his fucking workers killed. Um if you look at teal and green they're they're doing some entangle, getting some fiends. Uh they have they have a pretty bad positioning here. They're trying to pick off units but they end up losing a, a pretty good amount so here I noticed if you look back at me I noticed pink was coming so I I stayed in a battle that I wasn't necessarily winning because I saw a blade master on his way so I was kinda stalling him so he wouldn't be by his towers uh, pink and I decide that it's probably best to go finish off that lumber mill cause that's gonna stop him because like I said earlier, if someone's harassing me nonstop, my initial reaction is to just get as many towers as I can to deter them from from harassing me. So if we get his lumber mill, it's kind of going to delay if he, if he was planning on getting a bunch of towers. 
it's going to delay it at least a little bit. 